Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 24th of October, Monday of the week of Pentecost 20. John Flevel, F-L-A-V-E-L-L, 1630-1691. If God performs all things for you, God is to be owned, acknowledged by you in all that befalls you in this world, whether it is in a way of success and comfort or of trouble and affliction. Oh, it is your duty to observe his hand and disposal. When God gives you comforts, it is your great evil not to observe his hand in them. Hence, it was that charge against Israel. She did not know I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold. That is, she did not actually and affectionately consider my care over her and goodness to her in these mercies. And so for afflictions. It is a great wickedness when God's hand is lifted up not to see it. The ox knows its owner and the ass his master's crib. The most dull and stupid creatures know their benefactors. Oh, look to the hand of God in all and know that neither your comforts nor afflictions do arise out of the dust or spring up out of the ground. And the prayer, Miles Cubbendale, 1488-1568. O Lord Jesus Christ, draw thou our hearts unto thee. Join them together in inseparable love that we may abide in thee and thou in us and that the everlasting covenant between us may stand for sure forever. Let the fiery darts of thy love pierce through all our slothful members and inward powers that we, being happily wounded, may so become whole and sound. Let us have no lover but thyself alone. Let us seek no joy nor comfort except in thee. Amen.